Good morning children today's topic is center of gravity the earth attracts every particle towards its center by the force of gravity on the particle which is called the weight of the particle means earth attracts everything by a force the force by which earth attracts a body towards its center is the weight of that body and that is also called the force due to gravity today we will learn regarding center of gravity the center of gravity of a body is the point about which the algebraic sum of moments of weights of all the particles contributing the body constituting the body is zero the entire weight of the body can be considered to act at this point how so ever the body is placed its center of gravity is actually a point which lies within the body where the total weight of the body is concentrated actually that point is considered about which if we find out all the clockwise and anti clockwise moments of all the particles and we find the algebraic sum of all those moments it must come zero means if the algebra algebraic sum of moments of all the particles around that point becomes equal to zero then that point is considered as center of gravity center of gravity depends on the position where should the position where should that center of gravity lie the position of center of gravity of a body of given mass depends on its shape that is on the distribution of mass in it it changes if the body is deformed especially the center of gravity mainly depends on its shape if shape changes then the distribution of mass also changes so if it is asked that the center of gravity of a body depends on which factor you must say it depends on the shape of the body when you stand the position of center of gravity of your body goes upward but when you sit the shape is different now the position of center of gravity of your body goes downward so as the shape changes center of gravity also changes so remember center of gravity depends on the shape of the body another point comes this one it may also be a question it is not necessary that the center of gravity always be within the material of the body the question is is it necessary that the center of gravity always be within the material of the body the answer is no it is not necessary that the center of gravity always lie within the body the example is the center of gravity of a ring or a hollow sphere lies at its center where there is no material it is also possible so this two points you will learn nicely definition of cause then this two points the position of center of gravity depends on which factor it depends on the shape of the body or the distribution of mass another thing is it necessary that the center of gravity lies uh within the body answer is no it is not necessary example can be given the ring or hollow sphere where no material is there still the center of ring is only the center of gravity of the ring and the center of the sphere is also the center of gravity of the sphere where no material is there 
this chart you must by heart where the position of center of gravity is a given rod midpoint of rod circular disc geometric center solid or hollow sphere geometric center solid or hollow cylinder midpoint of the axis of cylinder solid cone at a height h by 4 from the base on its axis hollow cone at a height h by 3 from the base on its axis circular ring center of ring triangular lamina the point of intersection of medians i think you have learnt in geometry what is median median is a line joining the one any one vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side have a look this diagram this line is one median this line is joining one vertex and midpoint of opposite side similarly this line is another median and this is another median these three medians are meeting at the point g so g is the center of gravity of this triangular lamina next is your parallelogram the point of intersection of the diagonals this is the parallelogram these are the diagonals diagonals are meeting at g so g is the center of gravity of this parallelogram you have to by heart this chart the positions you have to remember these diagrams also these diagrams also come and these are important see the position see very re rectangle diagonals are bisecting parallelogram diagonals are bisecting square diagonals are bisecting cylinder exactly the midpoint of the axis rod the midpoint of the rod circular disc and the circular ring their geometric centers and the triangular lamina the point of intersection of the diagonals right now i have told you that point of intersection of medians right now i have told you median is a line joining the vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side a triangle has three medians and um, the point where three medians intersect that is called centroid and centroid is the position of center of gravity of a triangular lamina this two part you must by heart the equilibrium of a body also depends on its center of gravity lower is the position of center of gravity more stable is the body and upper is the position of center of gravity stability is less when we stand and when we sit, there is a difference in our shapes. When we stand, the center of gravity goes upward and so the stability is less. We want to sit. But when we sit, we find ourselves more stable because the position, center of gravity goes downward and it makes our body more stable. New topic. The next topic is uniform circular motion. When a particle moves with a constant speed in a circular path, its motion is said to be uniform circular motion. Constant speed means the value or the magnitude of speed doesn't change. Listen children, it's not necessary. When a body moves in a circular path, when its speed is constant, its velocity is also constant. Velocity and speed, these two are two different quant things, different quantities. The speed is only having magnitude, no direction, but velocity is having magnitude and direction both. When a body moves in a circular path, every moment the direction keeps changing. And the direction we can find out by finding the tangent drawn at that point. Look at these four points, A, B, C and D. These are the um, directions of tangents and tangent is representing the direction of velocity. So as the direction changes, the velocity changes. If a body moves in a circular path with a constant speed, its speed remains constant but velocity keeps on changing because the direction keeps changing and velocity depends on direction also. So... It is not necessary when a body moves in a constant uh, in a circular path 
with a constant speed the velocity is also constant actually the body moves with constant speed but the velocity keeps on changing because the direction keeps on change difference between uniform circular motion and uniform linear motion this is one important topic it comes write the difference between uniform circular motion and uniform linear motion see the difference mark here in uniform linear motion the speed and velocity are constant and acceleration is zero that is the uniform linear motion is an unaccelerated motion while in a uniform circular motion the velocity is variable so it is an accelerated motion what's the meaning of this you see when a body moves along a st straight line the direction remains the same and if the body is moving with constant speed then the velocity uh, speed is also constant velocity is also constant if velocity is not changing we get acceleration zero because you know a equal to v minus u by t if initial velocity and final velocity between two points remains the same then acceleration definitely comes zero so in linear motion acceleration is zero it is called unaccelerated motion but when a body moves in a circular motion then as every moment the direction keeps changing so velocity keeps changing and as velocity changes acceleration it is having some acceleration so it is an accelerated motion so remember this difference linear motion it acceler it is an accelerated motion that is acceleration zero and uniform circular motion it is accelerated motion and acceleration is not equal to zero this point is again one important point and velocity are constant and acceleration is zero that is the uniform linear motion is an unaccelerated motion while in a uniform circular motion the velocity is variable so it is an accelerated motion what's the meaning of this you see when a body moves along a st straight line the direction remains the same and if the body is moving with constant speed then the velocity uh, speed is also constant velocity is also constant if velocity is not changing we get acceleration zero because you know a equal to v minus u by t if initial velocity and final velocity between two points remains the same then acceleration definitely comes zero so in linear motion acceleration is zero it is called unaccelerated motion but when a body moves in a circular motion then as every moment the direction keeps changing so velocity keeps changing and as velocity changes acceleration it is having some acceleration so it is an accelerated motion so remember this difference linear motion it acceler it is an accelerated motion that is acceleration zero and uniform circular motion it is accelerated motion and acceleration is not equal to zero this point is again one important point